percent of value at Ripple, we're thinking much bigger than just cross-border payments. It's kind of like Amazon with rare books in the early days. Just this market happens to be a ten trillion dollar market. We are at a historic turning point. Said in the past that you are doing for money what email did for communication. Moving the whole revolution forward. She got it. There's trillions of dollars parked around the world. RP. Is there a possibility that Ripple could take over Swift one day? Well. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of 24 Hours of Crypto. Let's get right into today's video. Fasten your seatbelts because in today's episode, you are going to see how JP Morgan is going to be utilizing XRP within their payment rails, and this is 100%. The information I'm going to present to you is undisputable. It is right off of open source from Ripple's website. I went there to do a little bit of investigating. The last time I checked, the Ripple open source website didn't look like the way it does look today. Uh, so I was very fascinated by that. I'll show you that in a moment. We're going to get into Apple Pay, Google Pay, and yes, I know it's, it's going to sound crazy, but indirectly, XRP will be leveraged behind the scenes. A jaw dropper for you guys today with hardcore video evidence of all of them telling you what's happening behind the scenes. But first, we are doing a buy one, get one on 24hourscrypto.com, link in the description down below. The 0.01% XRP Club t-shirt is buy one, get one for the first time ever. Why are we doing this? I am actually at a loss. The reason is I'll tell you guys very soon, but I could say on the good side, expect maybe weekly cooking shows starting in the next couple of weeks, but I cannot hang on to the merch no more. Uh, so, Buy one, get one free, and for the first 20 individuals, you guys are going to get additional discounts on the t-shirt. Very high quality, and every t-shirt is going to come with a credit card sleeve. It looks just like this. Uh, you put it over your credit card. It works perfectly at ATMs. I've tested this for hundreds of times. Uh, that is completely free, and also you guys are going to get surprises in these packages. Again, we, we don't know what it is, but it will be surprises, and it'll be pretty nice uh so link in the description down below and the back of the shirt a lot of meaning scroll down on the shirt website and you guys will see all the meaning behind it very monumental i do appreciate every single one of you guys and this is how the checkout should look like buy one get one free one for completely free and for the first 20 you guys will see a five dollar discount canadian which comes up to 367 us so with that being said, link in the description down below, but this will be going on until Sunday of this week. Daniel Eden is gonna be played in this video. He works for BIS Innovation Hub. But look at this, Ripple's open source website. Remember on the left-hand side, there was a lot more to this, um, but now they have featured the Axelar network. And if you guys remember the Axelar network, remember Tyrone Lobin from Project Onyx from JP Morgan. Apollo, JP Morgan, and Wisdom Tree provided traditional and alternative assets to be tokenized. And in order to set up this fragmented environment, we had Onyx and Oasis Pro tokenize these assets on three different permissioned blockchain environments. We had a permissioned zone of the provenance blockchain, the Onyx digital assets platform, and the permissioned Avalanche subnet. And to provide connectivity between all of these different platforms, we implemented not just one, but two interoperability solutions, Axelar and Layer Zero. And to provide connectivity between all of these different platforms, we implemented not just one, but two interoperability solutions, Axelar and Layer Zero. So that connection right there, boom, 100% accurate. So in order to scale the system, we know that there is a known issue and even Circle cannot fix that known issue without coming together with other crypto companies. I think we're really close. I mean, USDC itself um, has, we've seen over three and a half trillion dollars of transactions directly on the internet between counterparties. And, and so um, if we can you know, improve it, 
with more scalable blockchain technologies like you know Brad's company uh, provides. And we so now Axlar being featured on Ripple's open source website, listen to this, the Axlar network is a Web3 interoperability platform acting as a bridge between blockchains. The XRPL Axlar integration enables the transfer of XRP and XRPL issued tokens to other chains and the transfer of tokens from other chains such as ERC20 tokens to the XRPL. And remember how we talked about Ticket Create back then? And I'm said how this is really big when the banks come in and look at this. It is under the Axlar bridge and how they're using the Ticket Create flow. Go ahead and smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen. We covered this because we know what these guys are looking for. And the bridge between XRP Look at this. We have the XRPL account and then we have XRP being sent. Wow. Like this is significant because in this time, in this moment, XRP is going to be utilized, right? Uh, so when they do the trillions and we're just talking about the Axlar bridge right now, uh, we're not even getting into smart contracts and all the other good stuff. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, but I think where USDC is going to hit a cap is going to be at scale. So when I talk about the $10 trillion that we're processing every night. From XRPL to Ethereum amount, the 1 million drops. So one XRP, the amount of XRP you want to bridge in drops would, would be 1 million. One XRP equals 1 million drops. So when is this all gonna go into full production? When is this all, you know, when are the trillions gonna come? Well, that's what they're trying to figure out right now. Remember, Daniel Eden from BIS told you the critical mass, you know, the, the tipping point is going to be when there's more value in the new network over the old network. So they're anticipating this move. The kind of defining factor of networks is that the more things are connected, the more value there is to the network. Um, so when we think about kind of transitioning one network to another network, there's going to be some type of critical mass and some kind of tipping point and threshold at which there is more value in the new network over the old network. And I think that that's kind of what we're all kind of circling around is in different business. And that was a panel with Ripple and Visa. And now getting into Noom and them utilizing RippleNet which now on their website, um, they're gonna be integrating Apple Pay and Google Pay. We have the dominoes slowly falling. Noom has been a long time partner with Ripple. Within weeks of joining RippleNet, Noom began leveraging Ripple's advanced blockchain technology to process transactions in real time for its customers. And on their key concepts, it says the new one platform is an open, flexible, comprehensive, and easy to embed fintech infrastructure platform, which we know, you know, behind the scenes, they're utilizing RippleNet. And here we have their payout features, Swift, Visa, MasterCard. What are the odds? They're all under the ISO 20022 registration management group member list, right? Here we have MasterCard. Here we have Visa International, here we have Ripple and RippleNet, right? RippleNet, Ripple, same thing, but not same thing legally. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I do appreciate every single one of you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Axelar, Ripple, XRP, JP Morgan, they're all going to be in this together. They're all involved. And I love this. I love the weight, and some of you guys may hate it, but the thing is... It's, it's only been 10 years and I, I always go back to, uh, you know, mirroring this to getting into the stock market back in the 17, 1700s, right? Imagine being the number one person that got into the stock market and look where it's at today, 100 trillion. But the crypto ecosystem as a whole is going to be much larger than 100 trillion. This thing is going to go to 200, 300, 400 trillion. We are unlocking the internet of value, something that has never been done before. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I do appreciate every single one of you guys. Link in the description down below for the buy one, get one. It will be going on until this Tuesday. And then we are going to discontinue the merch uh, for an unknown period of time. But this is going to be the only drop, very limited. Uh, so first come, first serve. We'll be back with another video. And also keep in mind, these shirts are a lot longer um they're two inch longer they will cover your butt 
top tier quality. They look way better than actually the pictures, to be frankly honest. Uh, but the pictures do look very nice as well. Okay, but I'm telling you, these shirts are incredible. We started building RippleNet with the thesis that crypto liquidity would eventually be able to support robust global payments, large payments. RippleNet was designed so that customers seeing the benefits of our fiat based network could flip the switch to ODL once the market was mature enough. And this is exactly what's happening. Uh, I think what we're building has, you know, it's solving a real problem. And I think all of the tokens, my advice to anybody would be, understand the utility. If there's real utility and there's real value being delivered to a real customer, there will be value in the token.